Hi guys, it's me, Geeky Grandma. Grandma to the Magnificent Seven, one of which is sitting right here, but he has not signed his media release forms. He cannot be in the video, but you might hear him. Today, look at the story we're gonna read. This is the story. The Case of the Missing Ducky. Do you like this? Yeah. Okay, ready? That's Star Wars back there because we listen to Star Wars music too. Here we go. The Case of the Missing Ducky by Linda Hayward, illustrated by Maggie Swanson. Who's that? Who's that? Ernie? Ernie. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. There's, oh, here we go. Here we go. Did it. The day the ducky disappeared was Ernie's birthday. Because it was a special day, Ernie had, deci uh -oh. Ernie had decided to spend it doing things he likes to do. And the thing it, he liked to do most was take a bath with his rubber ducky. Right after breakfast, Ernie went into the bathroom and filled the bathtub with water. He put a brand new bar of soap in the soap dish and he hung a, hung a soft, fluffy towel on the towel rack. There he is, getting ready for his bath. There's his fluffy towel, there's his ducky, there's his soap. See, right there. Ernie picked up rubber ducky and gave him a squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Sorry. He said, you know, rubber ducky, you are my very best friend. I could never take a bath without you. Who would I talk to if I felt lonely? Who would cheer me up if I got soap suds in my eye? Gee, rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. There he is. That's his best friend, Rubber Ducky. I thought Bert was his best friend, but who am I? Who am I to argue? Can I see it? Can I get it back? Okay, now what's going to happen? Just then the telephone rang, and Ernie went to answer it. I bet someone is calling to wish me happy birthday. He left Rubber Ducky on the stool in the bathroom. Uh, look at that, and... Who's that? You know who that is. Who's that? Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is looking in the door. Hello? Hi, Ernie. This is Big Bird. I just called to ask you a question. Are you going to be home at 2 o'clock this afternoon? Ernie answered, Gee, Big Bird, I guess so. What is happening at 2 o'clock this afternoon? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if you were going to be home then. That's all. Well, goodbye, Ernie, said Big Bird. There's Big Bird talking to Ernie. What? Who's that? Ernie. Who's this? Ernie. Big Bird, I mean Cookie Monster right there. Sit in your chair, sit in your chair. Off, off camera. Oh. See? And then they hung up. <gasps> hmm. Big Bird didn't wish me happy birthday thought Ernie. Maybe he doesn't know that today is my birthday. Gee, maybe no one knows that today is my birthday. Oh well, I still have Rubber Ducky to keep me company. Uh, what is going on right here? What is Cookie Monster doing? No. What does he have? No. Rubber Ducky? It's a mystery. When Ernie returned to the bathroom, he had a strange feeling that something was missing. Now, what could I be missing? I remembered the soap. I remembered the towel. Rubber ducky. What did I forget? Rubber ducky? Rubber ducky? Ernie stared at the stool where he left rubber ducky. Rubber ducky was gone. Oh, no. Poor Ernie. He's so sad. He can't figure it out. But we saw... We saw who had it, didn't we? Ernie went back to the telephone. He called his friend, friend Sherlock Hemlock, the detective. Hello, Mr. Hemlock. Something terrible has happened. I need a detective, said Ernie. I'll be there in a minute, said Sherlock Hemlock. A minute later, there was a knock at the front door, and Ernie opened it. It is I, Sherlock Hemlock, the world's greatest detective, said the man with the magnifying glass. What seems to be the trouble? No. See? See? He's got the magnifying glass. 
I was going to take a bath when I noticed there was something missing, said Ernie. Sherlock looked at Ernie very carefully. Aha! I have it! Your clothes are missing, he cried. My clothes are in the bathroom, Ernie explained. Then I will begin looking for your clothes in the bathroom. He's got his magnifying glass. Is he going to solve the mystery? Yeah. Ernie followed Sherlock Hemlock into the bathroom. Gadzooks! I have found the missing clothes, cried Sherlock. Ernie said, but my clothes were never missing. The thing that is missing is the soap, said Sherlock. No, not the soap. The soap is right here. It is the bathtub, cried Sherlock. No, no, not the bathtub. It is rubber ducky that is missing, said Ernie. He's probably getting a little bit frustrated. Sherlock Hemlock cannot figure out what the actual problem is. <gasps> Sherlock said, of course, now I understand it all fits together. The soap, the bathtub, the towel hanging on the towel rack. You were about to wash dishes when I was about to take a bath, said Ernie. You were about to take a bath when your rubber guppy jumped out of the water said Sherlock. No, it wasn't a rubber guppy. Rubber puppy? Ruffled buggy? Dubby nucky? said Sherlock in a puzzled way. <laughs> What's he talking about? He doesn't even know. There's no fish. It was not a fish. What? What was it really that he can't find? Rubber ducky? Yeah. Right. Ernie sighed sadly. <sighs> It's a cute, chubby little fellow named Rubber Ducky who's missing. He disappeared while I was in the living room answering the telephone, said Ernie. In that case, I shall call this case the case of the missing Ducky. And I shall begin solving this case by looking for clues in the living room. You see? So finally, finally he gets it. Finally he gets it. Let me tell you about clues, Ernie, said Sherlock, as he inspected the telephone. A clue can be as small as a scrap of paper, or a piece of thread, or a speck of dust. Sherlock looked in the waste paper basket. He picked up the pincushion. He lifted the corner of the rug. See, he's looking at everything, trying to figure it out, looking everywhere. You see? He's trying to find it. Where is that rubber ducky? <gasps> Sherlock opened the closet door and poked around inside. A clue can be something so tiny that no one but a detective would notice it, he told Ernie. But Ernie did not hear Sherlock. He was on his way back to the bathroom to take his bath. I guess I'll just sit in the bathtub and look at the faucet and talk to the soap and... Oh, what am I going to do without Rubber Ducky? Aw, he's so sad because Rubber Ducky is his very best friend. But Sherlock did not hear Ernie. He was looking for a clue. And I, Sherlock Hemlock, the world's greatest detective, will go on searching for the missing rubber, uh, the missing rubber. Now, what was it that I was supposed to be searching for? Asked Sherlock Hemlock. He already forgot. Um, he doesn't even see this happening. He doesn't even see Cookie Monster. He didn't even see him. He's not looking very carefully for clues at all. Ten minutes later, Ernie was still sitting in the bathtub, staring at the faucet and feeling very sad, because there's nothing sadder than being sad on your birthday, when Sherlock popped in carrying a big box of rubber bands. The case of the missing rubber bands is solved, said Sherlock. Uh, gee, Mr. Hemlock, that's Bert's rubber band collection? His rubber band collection isn't missing. Look at that. That is not what he can't find. I think he's not a very good detective, seriously. As Ernie was drying off, Sherlock stuck his head in the bathroom again. Here it is, the missing rubber plant, he cried. Um, that's Bert's rubber plant? I didn't lose a rubber plant. How could I take a bath with a rubber plant, said Ernie. Look at the big rubber plant. How do you fit this rubber plant in the bathtub? You can't do it. He was just putting on his shirt when Sherlock appeared again. Sherlock's arms were full. I, Sherlock Hemlock, have found the missing rubber ball, the missing rubber raft, 
the missing rubber glove, and the missing rubber stamp. I am sorry, Mr. Hemlock, but none of those things is missing. Uh, no. No, Sherlock, Hemlock, you're not right. Just then, Bert came into the bathroom. He said, hey, Ern, have you seen my rubber stamp, my rubber glove, my rubber raft, my rubber ball, my rubber plant, and my rubber bands? They're all missing. Everything is here in the bathroom, Bert. Everything except rubber ducky, said Ernie. Egad, don't tell me that rubber ducky is missing too, cried Sherlock. Oh no, everything but rubber ducky. Where's rubber ducky? I think we know. <gasps> Finally, he decided to stop searching for clues in Bert's room and he went into the kitchen. Get zooks, he cried as he examined the wall. Green fingerprints, pink fingerprints, yellow fingerprints. This can only mean one thing. Some green, pink, and yellow monsters stole rubber ducky. Sherlock decided to wait to hide in the living room closet and wait for the green, pink, and yellow monsters to return. What is that? What is all of that? I got a hint. Look over here. See what he's doing? I think that's what all that is. At two o'clock in the afternoon, the doorbell rang, and Ernie went to see who was there. Everybody was there! Surprise! They all shouted. We brought you a birthday party. That's why I wanted to know if you were going to be here at two o'clock, said Big Bird. Look at all the friends. Who's that? Oscar? Yeah. Oscar the Crouch. Look, Grover. Look, can you name them? Do you know all the names? except it's only one problem it was a wonderful party there were presents and lots of big fat balloons green balloons pink balloons yellow balloons zounds said sherlock as he opened the closet door and walked bop right into a bunch of balloons i have found the green and pink and yellow monsters no mr hemlock they are balloons for ernie's birthday party said big bird see that's so that is so silly. It was balloons. Aha! I have it. These are balloons for Ernie's birthday party, said Sherlock. If only Rubber Ducky could be here. He liked birthday parties too, said Ernie. Don't worry, Ernest. I, Sherlock Hemlock, will soon solve the case of the missing ducky. But first, I must solve the case of the missing cake. If this is a birthday party, where is the birthday cake? Where is it? Where's the birthday cake? Okay, we gotta read the last page. The kitchen door opened and Cookie Monster came out carrying the big birthday cake. Covered with green and pink and yellow frosting. And right in the middle of the frosting sat Rubber Ducky, cried Ernie. Am I glad to see you. Happy birthday, Ernie, said everyone. There's a rubber ducky. He was going to be decoration on the cake. He wasn't lost at all. They were giving a wonderful surprise to him for his birthday. Me borrow rubber ducky. Me borrow rubber ducky for birthday cake, said Cookie Monster. Aha, cried Sherlock. I have it. Cookie Monster borrowed rubber ducky for the birthday cake. I, Sherlock Hemlock, have solved yet another cake. I mean, case. The end. I have a cake. You want a cake? Yeah. We made muffins. Can I have a muffin? Yeah, go in there and we'll pick out a muffin. Okay, that's our story for the day. Where's that? Go in here? Yeah, go in there. Good night, Ethan and Hazel and Caleb and Levi and Prometheus and Orion and baby Noah. Thanks for listening. I, I have a good day. It.